Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Curse the Sith Warrior. And we're here beginning a new session. Where we last left off. We were on the planet of Hoth. Reallocating the troops of Armageddon Battalion I believe they were called. To the front lines of the Empire and Republic War on Corellia. Even though the war is going on galaxy-wide, I suppose it's safe to say. We also encountered Darth Barriss's, um, I suppose you could call it Old Apprentice, Lord Drog, who believed himself to be immortal. It actually took us a few tries to kill him. But we've now gained our next destination to impede Darth Barriss's ascension and usurpation of the title Voice of the Emperor. We need to travel to the planet of Vos. Before we do that though, we're going to spend a little bit of time speaking to our companions once again. And so this should be a relatively short video, get myself back into the swing of things, and then we'll continue with the storyline. So, um, we'll speak to everyone in order once again. So let's see what Vet has to say. Last time we spoke to her, she was searching for her mother. From what I can recall. You know, I think I'm getting better at this whole fighting thing. Watching you pick targets for all those hours must have been useful after all. You can learn many things from watching my example. I'll work on my glaring and tromping around next. <laughs> well, I like that she's, um... More subdued now. No, oh, is that the right thing to say? Is that the right um, term? She's more calm and in control of herself rather than back talking us all the time. I suppose that's the better way to put it. Anyhow, Quinn, how's it going? My lord, I've just been informed that I have passed the trials for Captain. Second grade. Stick with me. You'll be a moth someday. As long as I continue to serve you, my lord, I don't seek acknowledgement. It requires your approval to go into effect. Consider it done. Very good, my lord. So Quinn got himself that promotion. We did offer our recommendation prior to um, the events that transpired. My lord, I've been dealing with a situation that's getting out of hand. Moff Broisk contacted the ship and was incensed to find me at the helm. He's been sending recorded messages that are progressively more nonsensical. He's always been scattered and aggressive, but now he seems completely unhinged. The next time he comes calling, I will speak with the man. I would appreciate that, my lord. Tens of thousands of soldiers and some of our most critical campaigns are at the mercy of his commands. The man is a liability. I find myself agreeing with you. I wonder if we're ever gonna... Let's see if we end up in communication with this moth we've heard so much about. My lord, Moff Broisk's hollow transmissions have increased. They are beginning to disrupt operations. He's nearly incoherent. I can only assume some sort of dementia has set in. I have him on hollow right now. I believe it's going to take your personal touch to assuage the situation. Patch him through. Here he is, my lord. Hello, the coop! Your new cage will be smaller and tighter. Cough in size. Earn size. In a locket or wear around my neck. He's unlikely to stop, my lord. He didn't even know he was on hold. Draken will prove my point. My glory is mine. Mine. You're nobody. Where's my blaster? I'll shoot your face. Personally. And again. Draken well won't save you. I could blow Balmora away. I'll blow Balmora away this time. Wait. What? Gone? Where did... There's a Sith on this. 
Why did you transfer me, Rochnik? I'll ship you off to Balmora, too! Rochnik is his communications officer. This is how it's been. Rochnik, am I through? I'm through? Yes or no? I don't see. Is this broken? All I see is a Sith! Royce, calm yourself. How dare you? Wait! You! It was you who liberated the Admiral. Have you lost your mind? He calls me Admiral Malcontent. <laughs> he seems to think that's my actual rank and name. Don't you know he's the one who lost the Battle of Talley? Broisk's earliest command. Before I was born. It was his blunder that allowed the escaped Jedi targets to flee Talis before the bombardment. Ancient history. Broisk wasn't even born. He sabotaged the Glory Space Station for crying out loud. I have no idea what that is. I hear him. I'm talking. His insubordination is lethal, paralyzing. It threatens the Empire. And you do nothing. You need to be muzzled, madman. Locked away before you do serious damage. You will not defy me. Fight his disease, Sith. Save yourself and deliver him to me for execution. Now! Are you listening? Quinn, end the transmission. Right away. He must be ended once and for all. With Broisk in command, the Empire is in critical danger. I must implore High Command to do something about him. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. A prepared statement would be beneficial. Thank you. I was quite hoping we can do a, um, a Darth Barris and force choke him through the hollow communications. I was hoping. Uh, apparently that's not the case. Uh, Jaser. Uh, how's it going? You have something to tell me. I'm just informing you that I will be disembarking for a short while. I finally tracked down the false Sith I'm sensing. It's time for me to bathe in their impure blood. Sever a few limbs for me, will you? You add fire to my rage, Master. I will return once my bloodlust has been quenched. It's so nice to watch our apprentice go out and enjoy yourself. The false Sith are dead. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them all. But not before getting confessions from each and making them beg. I've never felt such satisfaction. Let it feed you. There are few greater experiences than destroying traitors. I will be on the lookout for every one of those experiences. For now, I'll continue to use my power to search for traitorous Sith. Then systematically eradicate them all. The Empire will be pure when I am through. I vow it. Hmm. Well, she's very uh, dedicated. We'll give her that. Master, as time passes, the thrill of killing the light side Sith is ebbing. I'm in search of a new thrill. Perhaps one slightly more personal in nature? Master, I want you. Why don't we find someplace quiet? Do you really want to do this? Ever since I joined you. That wasn't a yes. Everything looks a little different when you're relaxed, you know? The sky is brighter, the stars shinier. Can't wait to get all tense again. Your workload around here just doubled. You'll be tense before you know it. I can handle it. The more pain, the more pleasure. Makes sense to me. Until next time, Master. Oh dear. Well... That conversation conversation didn't go according to how I expected it to, I'll give you that. I thought avoiding... Hmm, maybe we should have shut her down immediately. Um, we'll talk to you later, Jaser.
On the positive side, she got close to us and didn't kill us. Hmm. Best not try that again, now. Uh, we might not be so lucky the second time. Hello, Pierce. My lord, glad we have a moment. Something we need to discuss. Got a message from General Racton. You might have heard of him. Most decorated commander in the Empire. Seems the Empire set their sights on Corellia. They want Black Ops leading the charge. Me and the old team. He could command anyone in the Empire. Corellia's the real deal. Core world. One of the Republic's founders. Gonna take more than the latest batch of recruits to claim it. Black Ops soldiers use their brains. General asked for strategy. Told him we could take the planet with one target. Sebastian. Surely there are other, more important targets. The Bastion's the center of operations for the entire Republic military. We'd be cutting their legs out from under them. The Republic's plans fall apart. Morale disappears. By the time they get their Canucks in a row, Corellia will be ours. What exactly will this mission entail? Lots of planning. Gonna need weapons. Reinforcements. Tech. My team can handle the preparations. General Racton will give us the order. All I need is your leave. Hmm. You're rash, but hopefully this general can also keep you in line. Inform the general that you have my blessing. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. First steps tracking down the old team. Could be at the four corners of the galaxy by now. It'll take some time. Let you know who I find later. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how is your search going? Might as well keep this uh, conversation going a little longer. Got a few leads on the old Black Ops team. Republic won't let the Bastion go easy. It'll take all of us to claim it. Best to start with Lieutenant Tenido. Weapons man. Could turn a hyperdrive into a gun turret if he wanted. Let's it all go to his head, of course. Can't open his mouth except to brag about Black Ops and our wins. What purpose will he serve in the Bastion assault? Only way inside the Bastion is the gate. Supposedly impenetrable. Tenido swore he could break through. Took a while to track Tenido down, but he's stationed on Hoth. Finally got a clear comm signal today. You're welcome to listen in. After a few months defrosting blasters, Tenido's probably in rare form. And then he had me forcibly removed from the armory over a few flash grenades. Weapons master indeed. And after you calibrated all the assault rifles for him, too. Shame about those cadets, though. Yes, that was unfortunate. But how was I to know those rifles were for training? They really should use slaves. Anyhow, that's how I ended up on Hoth. Scraping ice from blaster barrels and reheating ammunition. Pathetic. On Korriban, we use certain officers for target practice. Then again, Hoth has its charms. The ice crystals form some marvelous patterns. Maybe you should start tinkering again. Get that weapon you built for the Bastion out of storage. You know very well that weapon's finished. It's waiting for the assault that will never happen. You may have to find another genius, Pierce. You're serious? It's not that I doubted the Empire. It's just been so long. We've got clearance from General Racton. The Bastion's ours for the taking. Then it's fallen into place. The Bastion. After all these years. I'll get back to base and start making arrangements. When I have the weapon, I'll contact you. Tenido doesn't like to waste time. He'll have that weapon quick as a Minox wings. Just in time, too. Let the man idle any longer, and he might do some real damage. You have your weapons, man. What's next? Tenido's weapons will help, but we'll need more than firepower for this one. Assault this big takes reinforcements, too. Get back to you about those. Hmm, okay. We could talk to Pierce some more, but we'll um, let him go search for these so-called reinforcements. And we need to now speak to Brunmark. See how he's still settling in on board the Fury here. What's on your mind, Brunmark? <laughs> the 
the thrill of choking off that first life. <laughs> I'll never forget it. It was your destiny. Without them, you wouldn't serve me now. Oh, okay. And we gained our command rank there. Yeah, just in time to end this video as well. Let's have a look. Let's see. What's in this one? Mandalorian. We found some more and plenty of this um, Enforcer's gear. A War Leader's shield. What's my shield like? Uh, it's absolutely fine. Oh! I don't have a, I don't have a color crystal. I've never had a color crystal in my shield since the beginning of the game. Well, level 10 when we were on board the Imperial fleet. Oh, holy hell. I might as well disintegrate all this. Oh, well, uh, let's uh, correct that. No, it's only going to be another 420 health, but... Well, 410 health. My bad. Okay, so we'll end this video here, and when we come back, we'll look into the situation on Voss, and hopefully find out from the Emperor's Hand why we're going to this world, and... Well, uh, yeah, see what this world is, is going to actually involve, because um, we haven't heard of Voss um, just as of yet. In both the Republic and the Empire are relatively new to the world for one reason or another. But, that's all for next time. This, of course, has been Anne Wolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Hope you've all enjoyed. Hope you all take care. And see you all in the next video. Until then, though, bye-bye now.